Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. First, the three nations of Fort Chippewan banded together to form Three Nations Energy and build one of the largest remote grid solar projects in the north. Now there's a movement to bring electric vehicles to the north. Fort Chippewan is a fly-in community located on the shores of Lake Athabasca. You can get there by boat on the Athabasca River or by winter road for three short months of the year. Good morning, my name is Blue Eye Simpson, historical Métis of the Métis, Fort Chip Métis Association here in Fort Chippewan, Alberta. Oldest continuously inhabited community and we're the oldest continuously practicing Métis Association of Alberta. For me, what drew my attention to electric vehicles I think is, is it's going to be the way of the future. I don't want to be us to be left behind in a sense. Uh, if personally, as a community member, I think it's it's going to be very interesting and very necessary for, especially where we live here in Fort Chippewan. We're an isolated community, and uh, you know, as time progresses, as things develop more, the electric vehicle will be something of the future, and something that will be very necessary. Again, as I said, thinking of where we are here in Fort Chippewan. Blue Eyes Simpson works for Parks Canada in Fort Chippewan and was involved with Three Nations Energy that built a large solar project there to displace diesel generation. She's now working on a pilot program to bring electric vehicles to Canada's north. As the, uh, as the Fort Chippewan area manager working for Parks Canada here, um, EVs I think would be very crucial you know, for our organization. I think it's very important uh, as you see the climate is changing and we see it every day here. And you know, So what role do we play as Parks Canada? I believe Parks Canada needs to be, especially in Fort Chip you know, and, and other communities I would assume, that we need to be the forefront and we need to be right up beside our collaborative indigenous groups and any group that's within the community that wants to push uh, solar or electric vehicles forward and you know um, working on and hopefully getting right involved in the uh, electric vehicle pilot project that's happening here in the community is an exciting thing. It's exciting and it's new and it's a little bit uh, scary for some of the you know some of the folks some of the people our elders and that have never had to do anything like that. What it brings on with electric vehicles I see are less maintenance less pollutants into the air. The gas prices, we don't rely on gas, you know, and the solar farm connected to the grid for the, uh, for the community, you know, plugging in your vehicle and leaving it plugged in to get a charge is great. Perhaps the biggest challenge for EVs in Fort Chippewan is range. Everything here is far away. Now, there are some barriers, you know, there, there actually is some barriers, but I, like I said, as technology and innovations get, get more into the future, those barriers will become less and less. We travel in the winter four hours by vehicle to Fort McMurray. We travel another three hours to Fort to the north to Fort Smith, you know, and again and by boat. And so we needed to we need to catch up, or they need to catch up with the needs of uh, how these things are going to work for the people of this area and other areas. Range is also on her mind when Simpson thinks about Parks Canada's work in Wood Buffalo National Park. Well, we, we live uh, just about a kilometre or two just outside of the Wood Buffalo National Park and that's who I work for as a, a field station, a field unit station um, section. And Wood Buffalo National Park is the largest uh, national park in Canada. We have a lot of land base. Uh, people are very iffy about how good this is. it good for the north? Is it good? You know, and I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to work. It's just going to need to be tweaked as anything else. There's always pros and cons, but we work through them because we all have the mindset of how can we be better Canadians? How can we be Canadians that are helping with, you know, the, the emissions into, into the climate? And those are big areas of, uh, you know, concern for us. Tammy Rial's the CEO of the Métis Nation of Fort Chippewan, and she says they're also looking at using EVs in their car rental business. With view rentals, we want to reduce emissions, reduce the maintenance costs of that fleet, and reduce the cost of fuel as well, which we can then uh, hopefully transfer over to savings for our customers. With the fleet, again, the same savings, same t uh, reducing emissions, lower um, fuel costs and lower maintenance costs. To Riel, range is not an issue. Because we are an isolated community and it's a fly-in community, we um, our range is pretty limited to begin with. I think you, the farthest you can drive 
is about 25 kilometers uh, to Dory Lake. So you would have to do many laps around the community to, to uh, run out of few, uh, any of the energy you might need to, before you got back to fuel up. Blue Eyes Simpson showed us some of the research that Three Nations Energy had done on EVs. It turns out that the Ford F-150 Lightning electric truck would cost 30% less to operate over its lifetime compared to a 2015 F-150. And even using diesel-generated electricity in Fort Chippewan to charge the electric truck, it would produce 35% fewer emissions and much less if charged by solar. Range of the EVs considered was about half that of the gas trucks under normal conditions and about one-third less in winter. Despite the barriers, Simpson sees a role for EVs in her northern community, and the idea of being the first in town to have an EV <laughs> makes her smile. Uh, as a community member, it would be just awesome, you know, really cool, really cool. And I think even as a, you know, as a, as a Parks Canada employee, I think it would be really nice, you know, to be able to have a vehicle that we can use just around town, just for now, as a, test, a tester, pilot. As of now, there's one electric vehicle charger in Fort Chip, but no electric vehicles. That is, unless you count the electric bike that's been seen around town. The Three Nations Energy Solar Project is reducing diesel use by 25% in the remote grid, and overall, solar is not only emissions-free, it's helping reduce the price of electricity. The Three Nations of Fort Chip also jointly supported the development of remote solar systems that replace gas generators at their cabins, sprinkled over the wilderness of the Peace Athabasca Delta. Uh, us cabin users that are out on the land, we have solar packages that we use. I mean, it takes getting used to. We're used to just plugging in something and it's done, you know, but this works quite well and it's evolving. It, re it really is. And, uh, you know, I'm quite proud to say that uh, we are where we are in collaboration with our three Indigenous groups here in Fort Chipewyan, and it will continue to, to grow with that. Reducing emissions and fighting climate change is very important to the peoples of the North. I think it's very, very important. Climate change is um, always on the folks' minds, you know, the community members' minds here in Fort Chipewyan. Uh, we have fire, more forest fires, We don't, and we have water levels changing. We have the ice, you know, the ice in the Arctics and that melting faster than, than we had hoped they would. So a lot of change for our people, our channels, you know, of the Athabasca, as we go into the P, uh, to the Rocher River into the going north and that these channels uh, a couple of years ago didn't freeze and why is that? It's important for us to know what's happening with climate change and and to realize and to look around and say how you know what can we do to make a difference to help in some way and this solar farm and the electric vehicles are just a small way of of putting our you know helping out with that climate change I mean it's a big huge thing and we, we just want to be a part of it to help. We visited Blue Eyes Simpson's solar cabin on a previous trip. Check out the links in this video to see our stories on solar cabins and the Three Nations Energy Solar Project in Fort Chippewan. Check out our blog for links and more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.